That was nice and easy. Why don't we do the same thing with our logic to deleting the tours? And obviously, this would have to deal with our X button here. However, the main logic is going to be within the tour list since we're going to be deleting the tours from the tour list. However, as we're clicking here, the method is going to be passed down to a tour. And then, then we're going to use that method and remove it from the tour. At this point, I'm going to leave both of them open the tour JS. As well as remember for the tour list, this was the index because we're gonna flip back a little bit back and forth. Okay, so within the tour list, we had the method that we passed it down remove tour, but at the moment, the only thing that was happening, we were console logging the ID. Now, in order to show that, let's go to inspect, let's find anywhere some kind of console. So, let's say we're gonna be looking for the console at the moment. It says, well, the ID is assigned but never used. Okay, so we don't care about that. But as we're clicking on the little icon at the moment, we don't see anything. And obviously, the reason for that is because we're not running the method. We do have the console log the ID, but we're not running the method. So first, why don't we set it up where we're going to be running the method? And for that, we have obviously here the span. So I'm going to say, okay, so on click, we have the method. Everything is working really well. But at this point, we have the remove tour. And remove tour is going to be looking for the ID. So we're going to have to pass it as an argument. We do have the ID. Everything is really well. But we also remember that we couldn't just pass remove tour with an ID. Because that way we're running right away the method. So again, in this case, we're going to set up the arrow function. And then we're going to run remove tour. As well as we're going to pass our ID argument. Let me again save it. And now this is saying, well, redundant all attribute because we're passing the image. So let's see again where we have it. That was probably toward JS line 19. So it's right over here. So why don't we change this? Let's say city tour, tour of the city or whatever you would like to call this city tour. I think that should do it. And then we're going to fix up our warning. Okay. As we're moving along, why don't we test it out? As I click it, this is going to be number one. Then obviously this would be ID number two. Then I'm going to be looking for three and four and so on and so forth. Okay, we have at least access to the ID. Why don't we set up the logic where we're removing the actual tour that matches that ID? I have the tours in my state, and for each and every tour, I'm obviously having the ID. And I don't think there's no better way than to actually writing that. So let's say that we're going to say first we're going to be looking for the tours. So all the tools I would like to destructure from the state. Again, this would be one of the ways how we can do it. You can obviously just run this dot state tours. But since I would again like to show you that there's multiple ways how we can do that, let's say this dot state. So we're going to be looking for the tours in the state. Then we're going to set up some kind of variable. And in this case, I'm going to be calling this sorted tours. And this would be equal to the tours filter. So we're running the filter method. And again, we're passing the callback function. And in this case, I'm going to say for each and every tour, check whether the ID matches the ID that we're passing in. If it doesn't match, then return the tour. If it does match, then the tour is going to be removed since we're going to say, OK, so if the tour ID is not equal to the ID that we're passing in, then we're going to return the actual tour. Other than that, the tour is going to be removed. That would be our logic. And again, we can reuse the this dot set state. We're going to pass our state object. I'm going to say tours is going to be equal to a sorted tours. Hopefully this is going to work just like we expected. So sorted tours, that should be our variable. Then we're going to save it. And why don't we test it out as always on a bigger screen? Because it's going to look a little bit better. Let me refresh. First of all, obviously, this is going to be our final project. I'm going to be looking for this guy, the one that we are working currently on a local host. And then let's see, let's try it. Let's say with London, the moment I click on it, the London is removed. I can do the same with New York and Tokyo and obviously the Paris. So we know that our logic is working. And now we have completed our project successfully, where we have all the CSS as well as all the logic for the info for deleting the tour, as well as we have the custom layout. Great. And our next and final step is going to be deployment online.